So you just landed your first SOC analyst job. Now what? What's the learning curve actually like? What should you expect in your first year? If you're feeling overwhelmed or unsure about what's coming, this video might give you an idea based on my experience. So you know what to expect as you grow into the role. If this is your first time seeing my video, hello, my name is Steven and I've been in the cybersecurity industry for about nine years now within the security operations domain. On this channel, you'll find various videos about career guidance, lab walkthroughs, and SOC-related projects that you can tackle and put onto your portfolio. If you're just starting your first SOC role or you're about to, you're probably feeling pretty excited and a lot of pressure. But let me tell you, that's completely normal. In today's video, I am going to walk you through what your first year might look like based on my experience, what you'll learn, what challenges you might face, and how to set yourself up for success. Beginning with month one to three, which is getting through the learning curve. To be honest, this is where most people feel like they're drowning in information. You're going to be thrown into SIM dashboards, logs, alerts, and playbooks, most of which will feel brand new. At this stage, it's less about understanding everything and more about figuring out how to keep your head above water. Think of it like learning how to swim by being dropped in the deep end. At first, you're just trying not to sink, but the more you practice, the more things start to make sense. Here's what you'll likely be focused on. Getting access to your tools such as a SIM or ADR and getting familiar with them. Learning how to triage alerts and review basic logs, following SOC processes and escalation workflows, writing your first few incident reports. What makes this phase tough is the constant feeling of I don't know what I am doing. You'll likely be dealing with a lot of alert fatigue and there will be days where you're not sure if you're actually making progress or not. But here's a tip, don't be afraid to ask questions. Write down what confuses you, do some research, and then talk to more experienced analysts. Everyone who's worked in the SOC has gone through this exact phase. Moving on to month four to six, which is things start to click. Once you've hit the four to six month mark, things will start to settle in. You'll begin to recognize common attack patterns like phishing, brute force, and malware infections, just to name a few. You'll get better at telling which alerts actually matter and which ones don't. And you'll also feel more confident navigating around your tools and processes. Around this time as well, you should start to write clearer, more useful escalation notes, and getting pulled into higher priority alerts, which will feel intimidating at first. But here's a tip for you. Start building your own SOC playbook notes. Log what you're seeing, how you investigated, and what worked. This will actually save you time later on and help you build consistency. If you haven't already, do try and familiarize yourself with attacker behaviors using frameworks like the MITRE ATT&CK framework. And do start to read a lot of threat reports as well. Month 7 to 12, which is becoming a core part of the team. By the time you hit month seven, you're no longer the new person who needs help with everything. You're owning your own incidents, you're mentoring newer analysts, and you're starting to look into more advanced topics like threat hunting, while opening tickets with recommendations for alert tuning. At this stage, you're starting to begin to understand the bigger picture. If you're thinking about moving on to, let's say, a more senior role within the SOC, this is where you would want to start expressing your interest with your manager, while of course building up your hands-on skills outside of work using platforms like TryHackMe, CyberDefenders, and Blue Team Labs, to name a few. So what happens after year one? Well, you'll have a solid foundation. You'll understand how to spot threats, investigate them, and respond effectively. You'll be ready to step into more advanced areas, whether that's threat hunting or incident response. But your first year is going to be tough. You will be doubting yourself more than once, and the feeling of imposter syndrome is always going to linger. However, if you do stay consistent, ask for help when needed, and continue to learn, you'll not only build the skills, but you'll also build confidence. And that is what you need to be successful in this role. If you're just starting out, do let me know in the comment section down below. What part of the job are you most excited to learn? And that is it for the video, and I hope that you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.